Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Welcome back. This is Chromatic Mayhem. I'm Manas and um, I have been obsessed with pink lipsticks since I was like 10 years old. I'm going to be listing some of my favorite pink lipsticks and yeah, I hope you learn something. Let's go! So the lipsticks are from L18. It's the L18 Colourpop's matte lipsticks and it's in two shades, Pink Spice and Magenta Magic. So these are the two lipsticks, I hope you can see that. So as you can see this one is definitely like a brighter pink and this one's more of a, this one is more of a like pink mixed with brown. So this one here is Pink Spice and this one here is Magenta Magic. So for 75 bucks, for their price, they're really, really, really good. So they're buttery, they're creamy, they're not smudge proof and they're not very long lasting. But even if they like rub away, they leave like a really pretty kind of like residue color on your skin, if that makes sense. They say they're matte, but if you like put a lot, then it does get like a bit of a glossy sheen. But you can easily like eventually, like as you go through your day, that kind of goes away. So yeah, I would recommend for someone who's like, you know, on like a really, really steady budget and they don't want to spend too much definitely recommend these two. The next lipstick on my list is actually an impulse buy but it ended up being one of my favorites. So the lipstick is this one which is the Kiko Milano Smart Fusion lipstick in the shade 405. But honestly I ended up loving this so much. I did not think I'd ever use this more than once but I find myself reaching for this so much. One because it's pretty much exactly the color of my lower lip. I have two-toned lips, which means that, you know, the upper lip and bottom lip are not the same color. You know, uh, let's say I'm wearing a really, really bold, like, eye look, which I do a lot. I like experimenting with eyeshadow a lot. Then that time, I don't want my lips to also be bold because I feel like that uh, overall doesn't look too great. So on those days, I always, pretty much always wear this lipstick because it's perfect it's a little subtle it's like a flushy you know blush pink and honestly it's just i love it i would definitely recommend it it's very affordable go check it out so yeah that is one next lipstick is this one which is the la colors matte liquid lip color it's in the shade fierce so i'm gonna first of all talk about this is i think around 100 200 bucks and the volume that you're getting for that price is absolutely like nuts, okay? It's insane how much volume you're getting because it's a huge lips, lipstick bottle. Like when I first got this, I was like, oh my God, it's, there's so much. So this is kind of, oh my God, it's gonna fall. <gasps> oh, I don't care if it's just 200 bucks, I can't spill it. So this is kind of what uh, the lipstick looks like. As you can see, it's like a mauve. It's not overly drying, but also it's very light. So yeah, honestly, like it's like 200 bucks. I mean, there's nothing I love more than lipsticks which are affordable, but also end up being like really, really, really good. Definitely, definitely, definitely recommend. <laughs> Okay, the next lipstick I've spoken about in previous videos, I wear way too much. It, if I had to give up all my lipsticks but one, I would keep this lipstick. So the next lipstick I'm talking about is Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Liquid Lipstick in the shade Hexcellent. So this is, I think, the darkest pink that I own. It's like so dark. But honestly, I spoke about this in another video as well. I'm obsessed with this lipstick. First of all, because it's a dark pink and I love dark colors. Second of all, because it gives my lips volume. Okay, I know that sounds insane, but like when I put it on, I literally feel like my lips are fuller and I feel like it just looks so, 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 so pretty. I wear this all the time. I used to wear it all the time in college. It was like my holy grail and it's running out. So. I have to go buy some more but yeah honestly if you're looking for like a maroon lipstick if you're looking for like a dark pink lipstick this is my number one recommendation it's also affordable anything by wet n wild I love because they're also vegan and cruelty free and they're very very affordable even like half the things on my face right now are wet n wild so yeah 100% recommend I love this one so this lipstick is the 
my glam lit liquid matte lipstick in the shade color me cray so first of all i love the packaging i love how sleek and like thin the bottle is but it's so long so you're still getting like a lot of lipstick and this is actually super super similar to the la colors matte one because this one also has the same kind of applicator same kind of wear this is also smudge proof and um it's not too drying it's a little drying it's more drying than the la colors one but i actually like that in liquid lipsticks so yeah for me <laughs> and the next lipstick is Sephora Luster Matte Longwear Lip Color in the shade Lilac Luster. I rarely wear it, uh, on, but on the days that I do wear it, I feel freaking awesome. I feel so badass because like it's such a crazy color. It stays forever and it's really really pretty. So yeah, I would definitely. It's Sephora. I don't even have to sell it. Like it sells itself. So yeah, I love that one. The next lipstick on my list is this, which is the Nars Audacious Lipstick in the shade Vera, Vera, Vera. I don't know how to pronounce names, but yeah, it is this one. This is like a cherry pink bullet lipstick. It's unfortunately not available in India, but this is one of the few bullet lipsticks that just stays on my lips. Any of the Audacious lipsticks, I have another one as well. It just stays on my lips through a meal. It doesn't get everywhere. It's smudge proof. It's not overly creamy, and it's it has a matte finish. I checks every box that I want. So yeah, I love this one. Would recommend. The last lipstick actually on my list is this one, which is the Technic Matte Lip Cream. It's a really bright pink, but honestly, um, it looks like really good. It doesn't look out there. It doesn't look like totally freaky. and it just like you know it brought my whole look together the other day the other day was actually the first time i wore it and i loved it and i really really enjoyed it and it's long lasting it's smudge proof it is a little drying but i like that but yeah um i would also recommend that one um but yeah that is all i have for today i hope you had fun i hope you enjoyed it i had fun so that's cool <laughs> but yeah let me know what you want to see next let me know if there's anything in particular i will see you again next time bye